Hi, welcome to Nepal Digital Education. Today in this video series, we are going to start the numericals of pressure of class 10. But in the previous video, we have already solved the problem number 1, 2 and 3. So let us look at the problem number 4. The different weight of piece of stone on wedging in three different media, air, fresh water and salt solution are given in the table answer the following question by observing given table so we have three different medium x y z and x weight is 12 newton y 18 newton and z 14 newton and we have to identify water air and salt solution among x y z before solving this question first of all we must have the idea about water air and salt solution we must have the idea about this air water and salt solution so so we we know that air does not experience of thrust but water water and salt salt solution this both experience what of thrust which is given by what v d and g from this we can write this of thrust is directly proportional to density and the density of density of this salt solution density of salt solution density of salt solution is greater than density of water so in the previous video in question number one we already cleared the concept of this floating and sinking condition means Here, the density of salt solution is greater. In this case, in this case, body what float, but when the density of water is less than the density of substance, so the density of this salt solution is greater than the density of water. So, so in this case. The density of salt solution is greater, so the object what float in this liquid, but in ordinary water it sink because here we know that of the direct proportional to density. So the density of water is more, so it experiences more of thrust. More of thrust means it is it have less weight. So this 12 newton is salt solution. And this 12 yox is salt solution and this z z is water so let us look at the next problem if the weight of 1 kg mass in air is 10 newton what will be the mass of the given stone so so weight of the stone in air is 18 newton so it is so it is what 18 newton weight of stone uh, stone of weight 80 newton has has mass 1 kg is given here 1 kg mass in air is 10 newton so stone weighing uh, weighing 1 newton 1 newton has mass 1 by it become 1 by 10 10 newton has mass 1 kg so 1 newton has 1 by 10 kg therefore stone of weight 80 newton has 1 by 10 into 18 kg so it become 1.8 kg so this is the required mass of the given stone next find the of thrust experienced by the stone we know that of thrust equal to weight of liquid displaced and liquid displaced is given by w1 minus w2 
means weight in air minus weight in water so weight in air is 18 and water is 14 so here we have 18 newton minus water 14 newton so it become 4 newton so this is the required of thrust experienced by the stone let us look at the next problem problem number 5 an effort of 100 newton can raise a load of 2000 newton in a hydraulic press calculate the cross sectional area of a small piston in it the cross sectional area of large piston is 4 meter square so before solving this question we must have the idea about hydraulic press what is hydraulic press this hydraulic press is based on the pascal's law and simply this hydraulic press is a machine which convert a small force into large force means we all know that pascal's law state that pressure is transmitted equally in all directions when pressure is applied at a point on a liquid contained in a closed vessel it means that when we apply means uh, pressure in an enclosed vessel then it transmit uh, pressure in equally in all direction like when we applied pressure then transmit pressure equally in all direction so from pascal law we conclude that p1 equal to p2 equal to p3 equal to what pn so according to this law all pressures are equal so in this case we have hydraulic press where there is a small piston and large piston a small piston and large piston so a small piston suppose a small piston force f1 is 100 newton and we have to find the area here area of a small piston we have to find the area of a small piston and large piston large piston f2 is given 2000 newton and area is given 4 meter square so according to pascal's law because this hydraulic press is based on pascal's law hydraulic lead press brake these all are based on pascal's law so according so according to according to pascal's law p1 equal to p2 so this p1 is given by f1 by a1 equal to f2 by a2 so solve it so f1 is f1 is 100 so this f1 is Hundred. We have to find the a one. Of two is two thousand, and area two is four. Just do cross multiplication. This equal to two thousand into a one. Hundred into four. Four hundred divide two thousand a one. It is in multiplication so it comes in division so divide this you will get 0.2 so this is the required area that is 0.2 and the unit of area is meter square so this is the required area of a small piston so thank you for watching this video